All right, today we're going to show you how to change the ball joints on this 91 Ford pickup. All you need is a forklift, pick it up. You need a, some sort of impact, insulate wrench, 18 millimeter, 15, 16, no, just a 15, 15, and a hammer. Some people like to use tuning fork, I like to use hammer. Of course, I got some other varieties of tools over here in case I need them. And uh, no, you don't need no folders, you need some sort of jack. Of course, you need a five gallon bucket to sit on. So, I'm gonna go ahead and remove. I'm not gonna show you everything. We'll go ahead. Well, the next thing we want to do is remove this brake caliber. You see, just some kind of wedge. So, we're gonna, we're gonna take a hammer and hit that until it, until it goes in. See how it went in? We'll do the bottom one the same way. I can hit it. That's good. Now we we'll just take a screwdriver. Take a screwdriver and just drive them things out. There, right, one fell out. Well, no, I can't even talk. The next thing we do, we knock off this little dust cap off of the off the uh, rotor, so we can get the brake caliber off. Cause that's definitely got to come off. And we have this uh, Carter key to get out too. Having no pliers right there, Margo. Your needle nose. Yep, needle nose pliers. Take off that little thing there, get your nut off, and your hub is about ready to come off. Put your handle in front of it, you pull it so you don't drop all your parts out of it. Now we gotta take this dust shield off next, just get it out of the way. Just a little eight millimeter screws here. Yeah, once you get these three bolts out here, your dust shield comes right off. Well the next thing to do you pull the, the Carter key out of this towering in here and get this nut off here. Now what I do, I unloose this nut. I bring it up about halfway almost. And a lot of people they use tuning forks. Get up under your, I don't know if you can see it, but get up under your uh, that sunlight gonna make this video will make this video up. Tuning fork put around and pop them joints and, and things out, but I use a hammer. Let me show you how simple a hammer is. Might take a bunch of several swings, but it'll it'll pop loose. Just hit it right there. Keep your nut on there in case you miss, you, you won't hit your threads. So I just hit the nut then. Just pop down, look at that. Alright. See that? That's simple. Very simple. Look at that. And the same one. Next we're going to pull this lower ball joint arm off. Now let me go ahead and pull this off the top up here. Let's pull this, let go of this peach boat. And pull this piece out at the top here, this bushing. Then we'll drop the lower ball joint. We won't take the Carter P out of the Carter P and out of this one. I just said Carter P and I caught myself. I'm bad about saying things that words don't line up my description. But Carter Key, not Carter P. We'll take it out and this inch and eight nothing on top of here. So it just takes a big old inch and eight. No, inch and a sixteenth wrench for this top part right here. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh hit. That's much bigger. Oh, okay. It is instant eight. I'm gonna see if I can break loose out taking the Carter key out. See if I can just cut the Carter key in two. There we go. See, I didn't even put the Carter key. I just turned it, turned it, and broke the Carter key.
Alright, now we're going to take this peach bowl. Alright, I got a peach bowl all the way out. Alright, now we got the peach bowl out. I drove a screwdriver here to open it up some so I can get this bushing on the top. So I'm just going to use my 15, my 18 to like a little prize bar. Prize that up. There she is. Now I'm going to show you how I take out the bottom one. It's real easy. Move this camera over here. There it is. Two wax and it was off. You don't need all the fancy tools. You just need the, the know-how. That's it. Fancy tools not acquired. There are a couple little things you want to do before you press the bearings out. There's a snap ring here on the bottom, bottom ball joint. That snap ring has got to come out. There's your snap ring there, just took it off. And you need to pop off both dust boots on your ball joint, both of them. Just get these out of the way. If you don't, they just be in your way. The reason why you take that off, you want your tool. When you rent a tool, you're going to find a tool that'll fit this. See, they don't fit it good. That fits it. Now if I turn it over, this one fits this one. So I took a machine this out. The way I'm going to do this might be a little strange for some people. But it won't be for me. Because I've done it before. i got to turn this over. Like this. So I can press down from the top down push this bushing out but I don't want to push on this without nothing in between here so I cut a little piece to go in there I like to cut my piece too short but uh that's enough to help it put that in there now I'll do my other piece oh there it is right there I don't need that yet we just need to get this up here oh jack's too far down let me stack two of these together on the bottom. Put this in the middle here. Jack it down till we push it out. Alright. See if you can get it where you can see it. Tighten this up so I'm leaking back. <laughs> Moved one time, heard that. I gotta move the jack is not center. Let me move it over a little bit. It's hitting now. Let me put my peach back in there. Are we still focused? Yeah. 
put this back in there. Some of y'all saying, why do you need that? Well, I don't want to be pushing down on this piece here and break it off. So this will run into this, keep them breaking it. It might not break it, but I'm not going to chance it. That's the way I'm going to do it. You do yours the way you want to do it. There she go. There goes one out. There's right there. Now I'm going to get the other one out. Now pressing this upper out is a little different. Now I got to press on this piece here. So I'll just set this on here. So like I had before. I don't know what height I need it, but we're gonna find out. We'll need that like that. Right now we're gonna need let me find it. Hold on a minute. We're gonna need this piece here. We can stand a little more height, so let's put Put this up there. We need, we need to be higher anyway. Put that on there. Put that on there. Whoa. See for recording. Now here we go. Just get a little closer where you can see it. Watch right in there. You see that center piece smashed down in there. Tighten this up some more. There you went one time. It's pushing out now. There she go. There she go. There's the other one out. Alright. We're going to flip it over and push them back in. When I screwed up on my sequence, I pressed in my top one first, and that was wrong. I need to press in my bottom lower. Bottom lower, lower join in first so we're going to use this little ring to go up under here so we so that ball don't we'll just go through the hole now we're going to put this on here once I get this nut off here I think see which side is which. There we go. Now we got to put a flat bar on top of that. Like that. We could probably just use that. Lay it up a little bit. Pressing in there with. Here we go. All we in there. All right, now let's go back. Do that one we done a while ago. We've been we've been through if I put it in the right sequence. But uh, me getting older, my age and all that, got where I don't even talk right. I forget things easy now. Uh, we gotta put a snap ring back on the bottom. So where's up here? To, we just gotta push this in there. Leave it right where it is. We'll put this piece. Back up under here again. Just something to uh, keep that from bending down. Put this back on here. Let me move that right now. Put something on top of this. And we're ready. 
except for this piece here. Now. Thing here is getting tight. Going in. There she is. Both bowl joints in there. Ready to go. Let's get my nut up here to put on here. Let's go over here to the workbench. Ain't that a pretty beautiful workbench? Clean it. I've been doing a lot of stuff that they make. So, I know. Ain't had a chance to clean it up. But let's put our dust covers back on it though. Let's put the lower joint dust cover back on there. Put the upper on there. And least and less, at least, I can't even say it. Let's put our snap ring back on our bottom one. There we go. Let's put our uh, grease fit in it. I don't wear my, my 90. I got another one goes up top. I got something out there in the building. But there there she is. A new car to keep. So let's go outside and install this joker. Putting this wheel hub back around. What the hell you call it. But anyway. I can't remember. But we have our grease fitting in there. We have our grease fitting here with our snap ring. So all of our stuff is in there. So we're good to go. So. So it's easy as all. Let me get over and get to it. Just take it out. Bolt there. Run it through that hole. Just pin back through that hole. And you should have it. Put your nut on there. Alright now, the, let's put this back in the top. All that is is a bushing. So when they line the front end up, they'll they'll put new ones these in there. But you'll never know where that hole is. It might be over here. This fits that in that slot there, so you can't move if we you can grind that off if you want to move it. But you're gonna throw your front end out of whack. So I wouldn't do that. I'll just have it lined up. And they'll put these in here to line your front end up right. And they're just simple put in there. Get the hammer and knock it back in there. I don't worry my brand new pinch boat is, but I'm going to use the old one. I don't give a crap. It worked just fine. I'll put this old, we're still recording, yeah. I'll put this old one in here. Nobody won't know the difference. Let's get our impact. Tighten up our bottom one. Tighten this one up. <coughs> it's not really a bad job. It's more irritating. 
don't know how that Carter key supposed to work because the nuts down past it. I don't know how that's supposed to work. But I guess I'll just make I'll make the uh see that don't even that that's crazy. I don't know what they done there, but that ain't right. Anyway, I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna stick it in there. I don't think it's ever gonna back it loose anyway. If it does, so be it. Let's stick this back on. Here's our nut. By the way, it's Seven eight. Put back on there with. All right, we about lined up right there. Good. Just go and put a brake caliber on. No, 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 no. Hey, when you pick this. When you pick this up, hold your hand or all your guts won't fall out. No, wait, 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 wait. Get ahead of myself. Let's put our dust shield on. All right, let's put our wheel seal on. I mean, put a hub on there. Better hold that stuff, it won't fall out of the dirt. That washer, you see, it's got a two places in it. Where you can line line the key that wash from spinning around and around. Put your nut on first. There ain't no castle nut. But you have a a castle nut thing that goes over top of it with a, with a this 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 allows you to keep moving this nut around and you find the right place, find a good place to put that carter key in it. I don't think it does. this up a little bit. I'm going to tighten it up good and back it off. Not too much. We've got plastic inside that barrier. Now I'm going to back it off some. Retighten it. Tighten a little more. A little bit more. That's about good enough. Now this one, this comes in. Handy. Maybe line up. See that hole don't line up. It barely lines up. Take it off and turn another notch. Look at that. Bam. Lines right up. We need to know if we'll bend that thing around. Turn it around. Bend it in. Nope. Can't. Just bend it over. Put a cap on this dirt. Make sure you get the dirt out of it. I should repack them bearing, but I'm not right now. All right, now let's put on the our brake thing we jigger on here. Our watch him call it doohickey caliber brake caliber. There you go. I wish I had a ray. I don't like getting all this greasy. Hold me find a. Ray. All right, we're gonna put on this brake caliber as soon as I find my shoes. But it is a stupid dud. All right.
We're going to take and dry these back in there. You know, if you keep hearing something from your, uh, your forward rattling, from your front end rattling, it could be these. These are anti, anti rattlers. They're a uh, wedge. See, they have a piece of rubber in between it and a piece of metal on each side with clips on it. There's a clip there. There's a clip there. So when you drive this in, when you drive these things in, it stops on them clips. See that thing galling some of the rubber out there? Now if your brakes are, if you can find something right on your front end, you just can't find it and you keep looking, looking, looking for these rattlers, for these wedge here might be the problem. You might need to buy some new wedge to, to deal with that problem. It's what I like about four. Look how simple they put them brakes on. Drive them in like a nail. You drive them in to that, to that little, a, a little clip there, whatever you call it, shoulder, touches that and you stop. Oh, it went too far. There we go. All right, we're ready for the wheel. That's it. That's the best I can show you how to do that. That's how you change the... Hey, before you drive off, make sure you pump your brakes. Because you ain't going to have no brakes until that wheel cylinder, that, uh, hey, what you call that thing, that caliber, to them pistons, press out, then start grabbing on that disc, then you'll have brakes. But right now, you're going to have nothing. You go put it in gear and go to stop, and you're going to be, whoa, got no brakes, what the hell? Then you might be pumping three or four times before you get brakes. Then you finally get it, so... Be careful with that. Hey, if this helps you, I hope it does. If it don't, oh well, I've done the best I can do. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.